All right, so welcome back to the channel. Uh, Focus Dance here. In this episode, uh, I just kind of want to do a brief uh, breakdown of the XRS uh, Armor Spec Gen 4. Uh, I didn't see a video out here just showing specifically the breakdown of the Gen 4 versus the Gen 3. I don't have a Gen 3, I just have a Gen 4. And um, I'm due to change out the buffer weight here for a lighter um, a lighter buffer because uh, I'm having a couple of issues with the last round bolt hold open uh, locking out and it doesn't lock out with the H so this I have is the H spring uh, I don't know if you'll be able to read it there I'm gonna try Let's see you might be able to read that uh, so this is the H so I gotta change it out and I kind of want to go over just how this process actually works because I have to figure this out uh, here on my own. Um, so to begin with, everything uh, is captured by this roll pin here. So all you do is when you want to change out your buffer weights, uh, buffer weights and whatever this thing is, I don't know what this is on the end, but some of you may know, uh, you just take your little uh, anything that can uh kind of push that roll pin out of the way uh far enough not all the way out to where you take it out of this thing entirely unless you're going to replace this but far enough out of the way that it can clear the uh the the pendulum in the middle or not pendulum but this this plunger yeah this is the plunger in the middle right so on this this will come out and separate boom to the side all right, so when this is on, this bit here, this plunger, fits in like this. And you'll have this little washer on it. Make sure that washer is on there. Otherwise, this thing's come shooting out. And pr preferably keep it away from your eyes. Now, this spring, which I'm probably going to have to do some clipping on, this spring here goes on the plunger and down on like that and you have to you're gonna have to kind of compress the spring down to get it to fit on the rod the plunger itself and when you do that you can then put this thing back on let it capture a little bit and then I'm gonna try to bring this up where you can see there's a little hole right here that that roll pin goes into you let that slide up boom it captures you can then um, seat this thing in and it won't come out. However, I'm going to let mine roll out like we are going to fix it or to uh, disassemble it. So you push that pin out of the way. This pops off like so. You then remove this internal spring. The stage one spring comes out. Set that to the side. And now you're left with the plunger and the stage two spring and the buffer weight. What you do here is you push the plunger out. Boom, it slides out, sets aside. And now you're left with the plunge, uh, well, not the plunger, but the buffer weight. This also separates too. So you have this piece that comes out of this. And I believe this piece is what's gonna be changed. Once my uh, C arrives, I will finish this part. So that might be today, maybe tomorrow that you'll be witnessing the two videos spliced together. Uh, so yeah, stay focused. All right, so uh, let's show it up in the mail here. Got uh, the C, this is the SRS C. So let's go and get this out of the box here. And the thing that we want to do is we want to take this bit here um, and the weight here separates easily from the unit and uh, this just drops directly into there just like so right and then we will push this rod through and all of this should be captured and shouldn't come out right then we will take the spring 
And uh, I think I'm going to put this end down first. And then we'll depress the spring. Let's make sure that everything is everything. Depress the spring. Just like so. We'll put on the guard here. And get the spring down again. Put on the guard. Just like that. Gotta work it. Find the uh, level. There it is. Line it up and flip your row pin where it's not supposed to go. Push it down again. Line it up. I think mine's slightly out of a line alignment. There we go. Then we'll just cover that through like so. And it should capture. Perfect. Lighter spring. Um, I'm gonna make sure I tap this a little bit more to the to the right, and uh, then we'll be good to go. And there you go. So that's how you would change out the spring uh, or the weight on a uh, SRS Gen 4. Uh, everything is done by this uh, roll pin removal at the back. And there's no um, there's no threaded insert over here that you take out. Everything's done from here. Easy, uh, very easy actually to do. Hopefully that helps anyone that's uh, wondering how to get this thing done. Uh, if you're on YouTube, I appreciate you uh, giving this video a like and maybe hitting up the super thanks. Anyway, Focus Tens signing off. Peace.